H170 something freaking or other, and I can't remember. Boy, it was wobbly on that one. And a cargo carrying capacity. Hey, tall man clan. Welcome back to La Mesa and Port St. Lucie. Today we're looking at something we haven't seen before. This is a Winnebago hike. This is the H170S. So let's get right to it. Here's your storage area. It's kind of tiny. Um, the opening is not very big, but there's quite a bit of storage in there. Uh, you're just not gonna be able to use a lot of bins. I forgot to tell you about the front. This cage here is where you put your propane. It's where you put your batteries, all right? It's contained. It's also an electric jack, so all you have to do is hit the button and it comes right off your truck. Now this is what's really neat and what caught my attention. The whole RV, all the way up over the top, all the way down the back, all the way around the bottom, it's got basically a, well, it's not a roll cage, but it's a brush cage. This is literally, truly made to go off-road. Also, a nice awning that covers almost the entire side. All right, there's a little bit of storage here in the back. It is tiny. Um, your jacks, by the way, are manual. Um, so when you get to where you're going, you will uh, crank those down. All right, remember I was talking about the, the roll cage or brush bars, all right? They're all the way around, which is really cool. It is pre-wired for a backup camera. And there's also a utility uh, hitch here for you to uh, put some accessories on. Well, if you're gonna be on grid and somewhere where you can plug into utilities, this is where it all is, right? Your power, your water all connects here. Beneath here is where your sewer connects and your pulls are for dumping both your gray and black tank. All right, so these are off-road tires, but what I really want you to see is, see how much lower the axle is from the frame? They've jacked the frame up, so again, if you're taking this off-road, you have plenty of clearance. So very, very cool. All right, so let's take a look at the numbers. This is a 4,200 pound uh, gross vehicle weight and a 900 pound cargo capacity. So pretty good. Come on in. So let's start in the kitchen. We have our little microwave here. We have a refrigerator right here. Yeah, it's a nice fridge. Yes, a two burner stove. We do have a little stainless steel sink here with a nice tall faucet. Well, that is a little stainless sink, isn't it? <laughs> it is, it's a little sink, but you know what? There's lots of storage everywhere. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. And then there's storage underneath. We have drawers there's yeah. a lot of storage in here and what's nice if you guys remember from the outside if you saw it um the, the little kitchen here that's the slide that we yeah. saw from the outside so it's pushed out a little bit to give you some more room inside here which is really neat it is absolutely all right and then the dinette is here right yeah we got the dinette here um and it's very comfortable there's storage underneath and plenty of storage up above as well Nice. Yeah. Absolutely. And I do believe this makes down to a single person bed. Yes, it does. Yes, mm -hmm. it does. Now, speaking of bed, here is the bedroom, guys. And I'm going to give this over to Lisa. Now, um, for those tall people in the world, if you didn't know, again, I'm six foot four. All right. Um, I would consider this an east to west bed. And since it's wall to wall, um, if you're my height, you're going to have some challenges laying completely horizontal. You're gonna to have to lay at a diagonal um, uh, unless you sleep curled up in a ball. Um, but uh, you know, this isn't gonna be a, a full-time thing. This is something you take out for the weekends and have a good time. Um, but again, being six foot four, this particular size would create some challenges. Now there is some storage up above, okay? Um, it's not closed in, so uh, stuff may bounce out down the road, but you know, a small thing. Um, there is some power up there. There's also a charging station back there in the back. Um, let's see if there's storage underneath here. Um, there is not. Um, it's because the storage under the bed was accessed from the outside. Now, if you turn all the way around, Lisa, if I'm sitting on the bed, looking over there, there's sort of the control area. There's a TV mounted there. Um, everything that you need to control the RV is sort of right there. Um, with one exception, if you look back by the door when we came in, um, there's your, your switches here, um, and there's also your, your switch for your powered awning. 
There is also a small cabinet here. Um, I would think this would be like a little food pantry, right? Uh, it gives you some extra space to carry some food, okay? So, what's here? Well, hey, you know what time it is. It's time for... Thomas Toilet Test! <laughs> Let me just say, I am actually shocked at how much space there is back here. This might be the biggest bathroom in a tiny travel trailer that we've seen. I mean, this thing's only 17 feet long. Um, huge. Uh, it is a plastic foot flush toilet. Um, plenty of room front to back, left to right. So, uh, yeah, being six foot four, I am completely comfortable in here. So definitely. Now, right across from me is the sink. It's actually stainless steel, which I love. Nice stainless steel faucet. And look at that great countertop space. So you can put your toiletries up there and different things, which is awesome. There's a power outlet here, which is GFI. So if you've got an electric razor or whatever you need to plug in, hair dryer. I'm not sure you why need a hair dryer out in the bush, but whatever. There's also a little cabinet up here, um, sort of like a medicine cabinet, except there's no mirror on it because the mirror is here, right? There is also a little bit of storage down beneath. And since it goes all the way to the wall, it's actually very generous, all right? The mirror, well, I mean, I don't know if y'all can see my head. It, it's kind of curved here actually in the back. And so my head is hitting the back and you can see from my, my nose down in the mirror. So you would have to scooch a little bit, okay? Now that being said, here's the shower. Now, I'm probably not gonna climb in there. All right, this would have a curtain. At least if you look up at the top, this is the track for the curtain, okay? Um, it is very, very tiny. If you're a big guy like I am, this shower is definitely gonna present some challenges. Um, and I know my head isn't gonna fit up in there. There's a fan. Um, it's not uh, like most showers would have, uh, I call it the bubble, it's a skylight. But this is the fan. Um, so again, six foot four, if, uh, if this is, uh, how tall you are, this shower would present some challenges. So guys, let us know what you think of this, uh, uh Winnebago hike. Uh, again, it is the 170S. This is our first time in here. I mean, this is a cute little trailer for going, um, off road. It has more amenities for going off road than some of the other ones we see, meaning the roll cage that covers the whole RV so you're not damaging it if you're hitting it with trees. It's jacked way up so it's clearing the bush as you're traveling. So uh, yeah, let us know, leave a comment down below, all right? If you've just found our videos for the first time, thank you so much, you know what to do. And for all the return tall man clan, thank you so much. But you know what? Don't forget, if you're at La Mesa, tell them the tall man sent you. All right, and until we see you again, be safe.